Hey, it's Chelsea with the Art of Life Studios. I just wanted to quick go over our nice wood grain technique. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy, and it is a great base for a lot of your um, rustic or shabby chic paintings. So right here I'm using an 11 by 14 uh, stretched canvas, and I'm using acrylic paint. I'm gonna go ahead and take my fresh canvas right here, and actually we can set the other wood grain one right underneath, just like this. So I'm just using your basic acrylic paint. I'm just gonna be using white and black. Now you can add other colors in here if you want, just to add a little bit of subtle background color. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna start with my large flat brush right here. I'm gonna dip this in water and I'm just gonna do what's called prepping your canvas. This is nice for when you are mixing colors on your canvas instead of on your paint palette. This just helps everything blend and flow together on the canvas. Now, you don't want it dripping wet, but you do want it nice and damp. Moist, can we say moist? Can we say moist? We'll say damp. All right. Once I have prepped my canvas, it doesn't have to be 100%, but you want it to be just a little wet. You can tell it's wet because it's shiny. You hold it up to the light, so it's pretty damp canvas. Now I'm gonna take this same brush, I'm gonna dip it in white paint quite a bit of white paint on there. And I'm just going to do some nice long brush strokes with the white paint all the way up and down, probably a quarter of the way across. White paint, I'm gonna dip the corner of my brush in black. Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make some wiggly marks with my black paint. I'm gonna wipe that off I'm not going to rinse it. I'm just wiping it off on my paper towel or whatever it is you're using to wipe off your brush. And then I'm just going to quick go back and forth, just like that. You can add a few little extra marks. A little bit of definition if you want to. And you just repeat the process. So white paint. Dab a little bit of color on here with the black. You can even do some nice repeating designs if you want to. Give it that nice wood grain look. A few little dashes and dots on there. And then again, just wiping off that extra paint, going straight up and down. wipe that bit off. It's a little intense. If you get a spot you don't like, acrylic paint's very forgiving. Wipe it off. And I'm just going to add a little bit more white paint and it's just going to settle that section right down. And we're ready to move on. Again, repeat the process. Once you've done this, you're going to want to wait for your background to dry and then it is ready for you to add the foreground to your designs, your happy things. Whatever it is that's going to make you happy. So straight up and down. And again, I'm doing all of this with a three-quarter inch 
flat brush. And black and white paint. So there we have it. Wood grain. If you're feeling real sassy, once it dries, you can go ahead and take that same brush or a slightly thinner brush with black paint and make some lines down to make your boards, put some nail holes in there. There's a lot that you can do with this. Don't forget to check us out at theartoflife.info. That's our website. You can see all of our upcoming local classes. We are also at The Art of Life Guided Painting on Facebook and theartoflife.info on Instagram. And I think, I think that's our YouTube channel too. We have all the things, all the media things now. All right, we look forward to painting with you soon. Have a great day.